Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're doing another rating fan builds video, so we gotta hop on into creations. Now before we get too too far into the video, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, we're trying to hit 20k, you know that'd be pretty sick, and if you have any video ideas or like tutorials you wanna see like, hey Mr. Road Builder man bro, what's up man? I need to learn how to build this. Leave that in the comments below, guys. The most liked one, I will definitely do a video on. So, first things first. Uh, I'm not really going to rage the effects, okay? But there we go. A little little mushroom forest. It's looking pretty sick. Uh, I could tell you my few little complaints. Or I guess things I would personally change. I'm not a big fan of the things not matching style. It Like when people make builds and the styles are not matching it makes it look like some stuff is free modeled so for example you have like these pine trees and these leaves are sh like they're flat all right you can see all of the lines in them but the trunks are smooth which i would probably do that exactly opposite uh another thing like these these trees with i don't even know how they do this but they don't match at all so it makes it have that appearance of being some stuff free modeled just uh something to look out for my guy but overall the scene looks pretty sick i'm gonna give you a five out of ten up next we got a little uh a little foresty guy looking pretty sick I'm liking this overall looks pretty sick. I'm gonna go with an eight. Ooh, I am gonna go with a this can get an eight too. It's not really full or done, but I like what you're doing here. Oh snap. Uh <laughs> I'm starting to finish my apocalypse scene. Thoughts. Wow. I don't even know how to start something like this. If you made everything yourself, big props. Oh, there's a bunch of like uh like kits, like um like realistic kits you can use to kind of place them around and build your own map with that so if you use that slightly less props but it still looks sick man i'm gonna have to give it a nine. Ooh, some pirate ships let's go with a seven it's kind of hard to tell what's going on it, it's just because it's a like kind of a bad screenshot but they, the models themselves look sick what is this uh is this roblox terrain no yes i think this is roblox terrain i don't know exactly what's going on so i'm not gonna rate it but uh geez a gunno all right dude uh it looks all right definitely could use a little bit of work but hey for a first gun model i mean i'm guessing it's your first one i, I just made my first one too i think it looks pretty sick man let's go with uh let's go with the five all right i think i think you definitely can improve on it this is looking nice it's real clean uh i don't know i like it mostly don't like how these shingles don't match these ones like these are straight and then these ones are kind of all bent but other than that this looks awesome i'm going with a eight this guy i'm gonna go with a seven i think it's it could use some work but it's getting there this guy let's go with a i'm going a five i, I don't know yeah yeah let's hit a five on that one little vending machine you can have a 10 i can clearly tell what it is it's not just like a copy and paste of a vending machine you know it has a little style points i got you man 10 Ooh, this looks sick like actually sick and i'm horrible with volcano themed stuff i genuinely like this i'm going i wish i could see more angles some closer shots too i'm going a nine i really like that yo a plane this is pretty sick too uh i would have definitely loved to see it shade smooth and then uh auto smooth it would just help clean up some of these uh all these lines and make these look a lot more smooth too but overall this is sick i'm going with a eight i love it it looks really good oh snap okay listen 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 this is this goes back to what i was saying earlier um how when styles don't match some things will look free modeled okay now the thing sticking out to me would be these like i'm guessing these are wood crates and it looks like they're smooth plastic but everything else has like these real textures on it so like this whole thing looks good the only thing that's making this build look a little bit worse it still looks great is these crates uh they just don't match anything so i'm not sure what i would do to personally fix that uh, unless I were to make like those kind of futuristic sci-fi type crates you would see in like, I don't know, Overwatch or something would probably match this build pretty good. I'm going overall 8 out of 10. I would change the crates. Also, real quick, guys, like everything I say in these videos is personal preference. Like, by no means am I trying to hate on anyone's builds. I'm just trying to give my uh, opinion, critique them. Now we got a simulator map. Um, it's looking pretty empty. Uh, hmm. So it looks. Good. Is this cartoon shaded, or are you just selecting it? I don't know. If it's cartoon shaded, like it's a kind of a weird spot to use that. But it's like I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. All right. I would definitely add a lot more trees and some more variation in terrain. So take some of these 
and just kind of flatten them out make little hills around the map it'll help make things seem more of a exploration vibe instead of hey i can see everything from where i'm standing right now it just makes the game feel bigger but you also have these placeholders for buildings i'm guessing and that just lets me know the map's not done so so far you're doing great i like the colors overall is pretty good let's go with an we'll give you a seven trees for my platform game inspired by vibrant venture vibrant venture was a roblox game it is discontinued uh kept breaking from roblox updates all right um i don't know so here's the thing okay there's so many different styles of building and i don't know the game he's talking about so like if that game had this build style it's a 10 because he replicated what he was trying to but personally do i like the build style not exactly uh it kind of reminds me of like the early early roblox days and hey like we've just improved a lot as a community but if he was trying to replicate the build style of that game he probably did a pretty good job uh so if you're replicating the style i'm going 10 if you're not and we're just going off of appearance do i like it i'm have to say a four i'm not really the biggest fan what yo this is actually dope dude Dude. um wow let is this a render this can't be like just roblox can it like this looks like it was like a blender render if this is just roblox i'm highly impressed i'm going a 10 if it's just roblox if it's a render i'm going uh it's gotta be a render bro i'm going seven no eight this is still really nice <laughs> all right we got this little guy right here i'm gonna hit you with the six no let's go s yeah seven we're gonna go with seven wow this is a massive statue um wow what is this game there's just random pianos <laughs> sitting around. Who's getting to this one, bro? You gotta swim? Yikes. I really don't know. I'm going six on this map. Um, I would love to see some more terrain variation, which is also something I struggle with as well. Can't wait till I can build my next map. But, uh, yeah, I just say more terrain variation. So add, like, some hills, some mountains, like, um, in the, in the grass area. And just, it'll make the game feel more full and not just overly populated with trees. Overall, I'm gonna go a six on this one. This guy right here, horrible quality screenshot, Mr. Toasty Dev, okay? My group work, working really hard. Yo, uh, it looks sick. Like, overall, map looks really good. It looks to be, like, that Japanese-inspired kind of vibe. I love your, your text, the shop, and buy items thing. Uh, you know, they could be a little spaced out, but it's okay. And it looks like you're going for that sort of Ninja Legends vibe, I want to say, just because the UI is kind of reminding me of that. But overall, this looks pretty sick, man. I'm going with an 8.5. This is this is nice. This guy right here. Uh, okay. They look like they might be slightly new to building, but it looks overall pretty good. These little tiki guys or like these huts don't really match the best for me. So that's kind of throwing it off. And the water seems like oddly blue compared to the rest. Like I know it's a desert, but I feel like it's still too bright of a blue. Let's go with a 7.5. This map looks pretty good, dude. Uh, I love these little, like, tractors and cars you have. They look sick. I don't know what... Is this you? And then a little pet? I don't know. <laughs> Overall, the map looks good, though. I'm gonna give it a 6. But the simple fact, there's no variation um, in the ground itself. It's very flat. So, just add some mountains, man. And everything's looking... Like, these tractors look sick. I'm not the biggest fan of this building because i don't know exactly what's going on but it still looks pretty good 10 out of 10 uh there's nothing i would change about them there's nothing that i could do to make them look better i haven't ever even made a car so yeah 10 out of 10 to you bud and it looks like you did a render as well so nice yo all right yeah this map i think i saw this map on twitter uh it looks good i do want to say it's like it looks like it's supposed to be like some sort of a mushroom theme because you have like a bunch of mushrooms but i almost feel like you made them like huge just to fill up the space of the map so that kind of throws me off a little bit if you didn't and it was all like hey like this is the vibe i'm going for cool looks great my guy i got no complaints let's go with an eight yo yo okay dude uh this is cool uh it is flat flat map but overall it's cool and i don't know if i love or hate this style of putting roblox textures on the leaves i've never even thought about doing it and it's i'm just giving them uniqueness points i've never seen anyone else do it either and maybe that's because it looks bad but i can't find a way to hate on it to be fair like it's not a bad idea. I don't think I'd personally use the style, but I want to give massive props for the originality, which is something that is completely lackluster in the Roblox community. Good job, dude. I'm going with a 8.5. I like that. Yo, we're getting a lot of these Japanese-inspired type builds or stuff. 
This is cool. Let's go in eight, uh, 7.5 or eight. I don't know. Yo, um, yo, this is pretty cool. I like the, uh, the more open aesthetic of it. So you have this and then like, I don't see this in simulators often. Of course, Exodus dev has done it. He's done this, uh, bubble thing and the road, but, uh, I like the, like, I don't even know the word, but I like how the road goes this way. It comes up, breaks off and you have a road this way. You have a dirt path. It's more of like an open world other than a linear style just do 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 kind of thing so let's give them a nine i like it all right the last one for today is gonna be right here we're gonna go with a i'm gonna go with a seven i like it but it seems really small now that could either be because it's layout just doesn't have like a ton of flow everything is just connected to a central point which isn't a bad idea in simulators but it does make it seem small also your mountains are absolutely massive if the map isn't small then everything in it is too big so like look how much space this chest takes up if the map happens to be massive okay i'm not sure but all right guys that is gonna wrap up today's video if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later